You know, I don't even hardly know what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, your, it's your private practice and, and what difference reading has made. Yeah, what, just, uh, made what comes to my mind is just almost playing off something that you said. Um, I think I came to Christ genuinely as a young man, about age seven. Uh, grew up in a Christian home. Uh, my father and mother led me to faith in Christ. Um, Growing up, all I wanted to do was play football, basketball, baseball, run track, work out. Not ultimate Frisbee. Not ultimate Frisbee, right. Um, my father was a professor in medical school. Uh, my brother is a professor in medical school. My mother was Valley Victorian of her class. My sister has been a school teacher of honor for years and years and years and years. And then there was me. And um, I can remember, and I went to one of the smartest high schools there was. All my classmates went to Harvard and Yale and Princeton and MIT and Rice and Vanderbilt and places like that. And, I, and I'm just being, I'm just drowning in all of this. My father was very upset with me that I, I wasn't a reader, I wasn't a student. He grew up in abject poverty and everything that he became in life was a result of education. Became a PhD and made something of his life by God's grace through education and I wanted nothing to do with it. Which just frustrated him to no end. I got a football scholarship, went off and played football in college really had no desire to study. Um, went to law school, had no desire to study, which is kind of a deadly combination. <laughs> um, <laughs> Must have been study. Were you cheating? <laughs> no, I never. I never. I, 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 never I didn't graduate. I took okay. a leave of absence okay. and, interestingly enough, worked for the man, the last man to beat George W. Bush in a political race. Um, but then God called me to preach. And it was like I was saved all over again. And God gave me a voracious appetite. And a little bit like you with that tag that you were describing, I, in college I was just thrown into gospel preaching and the opportunity to preach and to stand on my feet and to get in my car and drive places and just proclaim Christ to, to groups that would invite me and that it was made available to me. And I just began to read and read and read and it was so unnatural for me because I had never done that. And just to fast forward toward to a couple years ago, my father is a very brilliant man. He's gone to be with the Lord now, but he walked into my study and saw all of these books and looked over at me and he literally said, surely there is a God in heaven. <laughs> he goes, my son, my, my son, the student. That is such a supernatural thing for God to do that. That is not me, that, that is just God at work within me. And so the private life, I, I, I preach three, four, five different sermons a week and that requires just a lot of preparation. And you know, you write books and that requires a lot of preparation. And so you just are always in the pursuit of truth and in a way that shapes your heart and sanctifies you. And, and, and sometimes I'm sitting at my desk and I'm really so turned on to what I'm reading that I literally have to get up out of my desk and just walk in circles Amen. around the room to let off the energy Amen. of the truth of God and of Christ that I'm, that I'm reading. And it's just overwhelming. Yes. And you just begin to sing to the Lord and yeah. you love God and you just are in a spirit of prayer as you're continuing to study and it's just filtering through you 
and you retain it. And if I sat down and tried to have flashcards to memorize verses, I, I don't know. I might have it for a day and then lose it. But as you study and, and, and you, you embrace it and you teach it and you, you dive into it, it just becomes ingrained in you. And, and you're talking to someone and you're, you're just quoting Scripture and the Word of God is coming out of you. And it's like Spurgeon said of Bunyan, the man is a walking Bible, cut him anywhere and he bleeds bibline. Um, it just becomes who you are and what you are on the inside. And it just, it's a fire in your bones. It's, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, what's coursing through your soul, almost like blood through your body. The scripture is coursing through your soul and renewing your mind and, and satisfying you and sanctifying you and challenging you and stimulating you and, and enthusing you and convicting you and challenging you and compelling you and empowering you and, and, and just all of that. I mean, it, it's God's work in you through His Word, by His Spirit, that, that sets His Son before us.